Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to install Xbox Game Pass game from Microsoft Store or Xbox app on your Windows computer because of this error code that is 0x80073CF0. To fix it, the first step is to run Gaming Services Repair Tool. So click on your profile icon, then click on Support, and then click on Gaming Services Repair Tool. Click on Start Repairing. Click on Yes to Allow, and let the repair complete. Now once the repair is complete, now you can try to install the game and then you can check. Still not working, the next step is to... Now you can even run gaming services repair tool uh, from website. So you can go to Microsoft website, go to the official Xbox support which says gaming services repair tool for PC. And on this page you will see downloadable version. So click on downloadable version, scroll down, click on download the gaming services repair tool for PC and then run this exe file. Click on yes to allow and let the repair complete. Once this is done, you will see completed successfully. Once you see completed successfully, now you can try to install the game again and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to log out and log in with correct account on Microsoft Store and with the same account on Xbox app. So open Microsoft Store on your computer and at the top right, you will see a profile icon. Click on it. In my case, it's logged out. So So you can click on your profile icon and then click on sign out and then click on sign in. Select the account which has the game pass or which has the game and then enter your PIN or password over here. Once logged in, go to Xbox app. Top left, click on your profile icon, then click on sign out and then click on sign in. Now select your account. You have to log in with same account on store and with same account on Xbox app. Once logged in, now you can check. Still not working. Make sure date, time, time zone and reason is correct. At the bottom right here, you can see the date and time. Make a right click on date and time. Now click on adjust date and time. And make sure set time zone automatically. If this is off, turn it on. Also set time automatically. If this is off, turn it on and then click on sync now. If you receive any kind of error, just click on sync now again. Go to time in language and then go to language and region and select your country. Make sure that your country is selected over here. Now you can check. Still not working. The next step is to go to Microsoft Store library or download and try to install it from the store. If you are installing it from Xbox app and if you are facing the problem, go to store, go to downloads option. And if you see the game over here in the list, you can try to install the game from here. So you can scroll down, find the game. And if you see the install option or update option, you can do it. You can even go to library and from library, if you find the game in the library, uh, you can try to install the game from library and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to run this PowerShell command. This command is provided in the video description. Type in PowerShell in Windows search box and then make a right click on Windows PowerShell and then run as administrator. Make sure that you open this as an administrator. Click on yes to allow. Paste the command over here, hit the enter key. Now let the process complete. This process will take some time and during this process you will see some errors in red color. So if you see these errors, just ignore it. Let the process complete. This will install the default Windows apps. And once this is complete, you will see everything in red color. And once that is done, you can relaunch Xbox App or Store and then try to install the game. Next step is to delete Microsoft Store local cache file. Now for this, you can open File Explorer, go to this PC, open C drive. Now open Users folder. Now open your username folder. Now open app data folder. If you don't see app data at the top, click on view, select show, put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder, local folder, packages folder and scroll down and find Microsoft Windows Store. So over here you can see Microsoft Windows Store underscore some alphanumeric character. Open this folder and over here you can see local cache folder. Make a right click and then you can delete it. Once this is deleted, relaunch Xbox Apple Store and then launch, uh, try to install the game. Next step is to run WS Reset command. So type in WS Reset in Windows Set Box. Click on WS Reset. This will open Microsoft Store and then you can check. Next step is to repair or reset Xbox App and Store. So type in Xbox App in Windows Search Box. Make a right click on Xbox App. Go to App Settings. Scroll down. First of all, click on Terminate and then click on Repair. And once the repair is done, you can open Xbox app once again, and then you can check. If that does not work, you can click on reset, reset. Now after the reset, 
you can try to open Xbox app once again and then you can check. Still not working, do the same thing with store. You can type in Microsoft store and then make a right click app settings. And then first of all, click on terminate and then hit repair. And once the repair is done, you can check. If that does not work, you can perform reset, reset. And once the reset is done, you can open Microsoft store and then try to install the game once again still not working the next step is to update store now for this you can go to microsoft store go to downloads option over here at the bottom left and click on check for update and if you see update all option update everything once it is updated now you can check next step is to install xbox identity provider now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser click on download over here it will prompt you to open microsoft store open microsoft store and if you see install option, get option, or maybe update option, update it or install it over here. In my case, it is already installed. Now, next step is to uninstall and reinstall gaming services. Now for this, copy this command. This command is provided in the video description. So type in PowerShell in Windows search box, make a right click on Windows PowerShell and make sure that you open Windows PowerShell as an administrator. Click on yes to allow and then paste the command over here. Hit the enter key. This will uninstall gaming services from you computer. And once this is done, copy the second command. This command is also provided in the video description. Paste it over here, hit the enter key. And then you will see get option or install option to install gaming services. Click on yes to allow and let the installation complete. Now, once this is done, now you can, uh, you can check still not working. Then start all these services uh, for this. Uh, type in services in Windows search box and then click on services. Now find IP helper in the list. Make a double click on IP helper. Set this to automatic. Click on apply. Click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. Now find Xbox services at the bottom here. You can see Xbox services. Make a double click on each Xbox services. Set this to automatic. Click on apply. Click on start if highlighted then click on OK. Again make a double click. Set this to automatic. Click on apply, click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. Again, set this to automatic, apply, click on start if highlighted, and then click on OK. Set it to automatic, click on apply, click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. Now find Windows update, make a double click on Windows update, set this to automatic, apply, click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. Now find gaming services. Make sure gaming services are running. If not running, make a right click, then click on start if highlighted or click on restart. Now again, make a right click on the second gaming services, click on start or restart. And once this is done, now you can check. Still, uh, now find Microsoft Store install service. Make a double click, set this to automatic. Click on apply, click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. And now you can check. Still not working. The next step is to update Windows to the latest version. For this, open Windows settings, go to Windows Update or Update and Security, and then click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed over here, then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can check. Next step is to run inet cpl.cpl command. So type in inet cpl.cpl and then click on inet cpl.cpl and then go to the advanced tab, scroll down. Uh, here you can see use TLS 1.0, 1.1, 1.2, 1 1.3. Make sure all four are checked and then hit apply. Apply is important and then click on OK and then check. Next step is to try to install the game to C drive or different drive. So if nothing is working uh, in that case, uh, you can go to Xbox app and at the top left, you will see your profile icon. Uh, click on your profile icon and then you can go to settings and then go to install option. So over here, if the game is installing to C drive and you are facing the problem, you can select, uh, if you have a different drive, you can select different drive over here and then try to install it. If the game is already, you are trying to install it to another drive, in that case, you can try C drive and then check. Now, the next step is to uninstall and reinstall store and Xbox app. So type in Xbox app in Windows search box, make a right click on Xbox app, click on uninstall, uninstall. Once the uninstall is done, you can open Microsoft Store in the search box. You can type in Xbox app and then you can install Xbox app from here or you can even uh, install the Xbox app from Xbox website uh, like Microsoft website. So you can type in Xbox app in, in search 
in Google search and you can go to the official uh, Microsoft website, click on download the app and then you can run this exe file and install it and now you can check. You can do the same thing with, uh, if you to uninstall Microsoft Store. If that does not work, you can uninstall and reinstall Microsoft Store. So type in PowerShell in Windows search box, make a right click on Windows PowerShell, run as administrator only, click on yes to allow, paste the command over here, hit the enter key. This will uninstall Microsoft Store for me to there. Now run the second command. This command is also provided in the video description. Paste it over here, hit the enter key. This will install store once again on your computer. Now you can check. Still not working. The last step is to update your windows using media creation. You can use media creation. Now for this, you can open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. On this website here, you can see media creation tool. Click on download now, and then you can run this exe file. Now, once you run this exe file, uh, you will see the screen. Click on accept over here, and then by default, Windows 11 will be selected. Click on next, and then select ISO file over here, and then click on next. You can save it to desktop, save it, and then let the download complete. This process will take some time. So once this is done, now click on finish, and then let it close automatically. And now you can go to desktop, make a double click on Windows ISO file. Here you can see setup file, make a double click on setup file. Click on yes to allow. Click on next over here. Click on accept. Here you can see ready to install. By default, the option to keep personal files and app would be checked. When this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. So make sure this is checked and then hit install. After the installation, log into the computer and then you can open Xbox app or store and then try to install the game. And you should not receive that error anymore. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time. And please like this video and subscribe to my channel.